This is the Mindfocuser Pro 2E, uh, the Wi-Fi version, and currently in uh, in beta testing, final testing. Um, this is the ULN 2003 version, um, and it basically supports three different modes. It supports local serial, which I've got it connected at present, um, uh, an access point mode, or a station mode. And I've got a uh, 28BYJ48 um, 5V stepper motor. It supports both 5V and 8V stepper motors uh, with a jumper on the board. Um, obviously um, OLED, obviously temperature probe. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just put the case back on and I'll show you this working in the three different um, modes. Right, I have here actual code itself and to run it in local serial mode uh, this um, option here is chosen it's uncommented um, under tools notice that I've set the board manager to node MCU 1.0 ESP 12E module I'm currently on COM4 um, and under tools Board, uh, board manager. I have the um, ESP8266 uh, 2.20 library installed, and that's done through file preferences. And notice this. Uh, this is all covered in the documentation. And so that gives you access to programming the ESP chip. So um, what we'll do is we'll program this with local serial mode. So everything's go. So I should be able to compile and upload. I'll do that now. Uh, this machine is a little bit slow. Because um, the other one sort of blew up. And I've had to uh, go back to a machine that's about uh, 10 years old. Um, so please bear with me. So I've got the temperature probe defined. I've got the OLED dis display defined. Uh, temperature probes defined. Um, and we're programming this thing now. And then I'll be able to talk to it with the existing MyFocus Pro 2 um, Windows application, which communicates via serial. Don't worry about all the, error, the, the warning messages down here. Um, basically got nothing to do with the firmware code, but has to do more with the fact that the libraries uh, haven't really been updated to um, conform to the latest Arduino language specs so anyway um, eventually it will start uploading So the other thing, in order to run this as a local serial, you have to have both access point and station mode um, commented out. Otherwise you'll get an error. So it looks as though we're nearing the end of the compile. And once that happens, it'll take a couple of minutes to actually upload the sketch um, and, into the controller itself. So as you can see, it takes 23% of program storage space, which is pretty minimal. And um, plenty of room to add things later on if necessary. Um, but it is fully functional at the moment. Right, so I've got 12 volt power on. Um, I've got the stepper motor connected. I've got the temperature probe connected. I've got it connected via USB cable, um, so it's done uploading. Let me just drop out of here, 
let me load up my Focuser Pro 2 uh, this should be like COM4 uh, which it is the board rate though for the my Focuser Pro 2e is 11.5200 so if I click connect that's very interesting let me just drop out completely of this because that might be holding it open there we go so away you can go you can see that I'm now talking to it with the existing my focus pro 2 but I'm using a USB cable and I can tell the stepper motor to move and you can see that it's slowly moving around this is be, the speeds are not going to be phenomenally fast um, because this is all communicating over, over TCP IP so let me just go halt um, it only supports full stepping mode uh, the OLED is working etc um, and the temperature probes are working because I know it's about 26 odd degrees if I hold it in my hand um, and I choose get as you can see that the temperature has gone up so um, the only thing here though is as I showed you the speed is significantly slower than the uh, my focus pro 2 con uh, controllers and that has to do with the fact that it's got to handle all the wi-fi stuff as well so let me just disconnect and exit out of there and let me go back to the um, firmware Let me load this up, let me scroll down, I'm not using local serial now, I'll use this as an access point, so I need to define access point, so I'll uncomment that, station mode, debugs off, let me find the uh, information concerning um, Oh, there's a lot of stuff. All right, here we go. If if access point is defined, then the SID to connect to is my focus pro to EAP, and the same password. So let's program this into the actual controller itself, and when that's finished, we'll come back. Right, so it's finished uploading. So let me just drop out of there. Let me open up my Focus Pro 2E Windows application. It should be 192.168.4.1. So this is going to communicate on port 2020 uh, with the actual controller using Wi-Fi. So let's uh, play with this. Oh, that's not going to work. Okay, it's not going to work because we're not actually connected to the um, uh, access point. So what we need to do is we need to go down here. And you notice I've now got a Wi-Fi network called My Focus Pro 2 EAP. So I need to connect to this. So I'm going to connect to this now. And it, the password is exactly the same, case sensitive all in lowercase EAP click next and I should be connected to this network now right so I'm connected I don't have internet access obviously because it's its own access point so if I now click connect bingo so I'm now using Wi-Fi to connect to the actual controller itself and if I tell it to go, I'm on fast mode, and I tell it to go 100 steps, you should see the stepper motor move. And you can see that happening now. It's a little bit erratic, and that's because of the TCP IP um, stuff, 500 steps. So it sort of goes in, in bursts. It's not particularly smooth. Um, but remember, this is, this is beta. 
and we're more concerned about getting things actually working rather than fine-tuning speed and stuff like that at this point in time okay so um, if I uh, change the temperature mode if I hold down the temperature probe um, like this and then I use a get command it's now 28.25 so you can see now that it's working as an access point I've got my laptop connected to the Wi-Fi chip and I'm using the my focus pro 2e right, window so application and I can get um, like the IP address I can get um, packet sent and received etc I can um, if I just erase this uh, get position so, so everything's working um, it's working over uh, TCP IP to the controller on the same network um, and we will get improvements in speed later on as, as the code is fine-tuned um, Yeah, I can't I can't demonstrate it in station mode at the moment because I don't have a Wi-Fi network in the garage. So I'm going to have to relocate myself um, into the house and uh, do another video, which I'll post later on.